Hello, all you beautiful beings. Um, I'm going to be looking at my screen because I have a script here. I'm just going to be reading notes off of it. So, as many of you know, I do not make much money. I work retail part-time, I live with my parents, and most of my off time is spent job searching for more consistent work. And, um, <clears throat> one of the most common arguments against veganism is that vegan diets are, quote, too expensive. And, honestly, money is a fairly reasonable concern for most people who are considering a very considerable lifestyle change. And many vegan advocates get defensive over this, saying things like, Vegan foods are some of the cheapest foods around, and beans, rice, pasta, and potatoes, though. Okay, <clears throat> here's what I have to say. No, vegan diets don't have to be expensive, and can in fact be fairly cheap, but there are things a lot of vegan advocates miss. Okay, first of all, <clears throat> like it or not, most people, at least in the United States, are not raised vegan. We're often brought up on standard American diets of meat, dairy, and eggs. I went vegan for good when I was 23 years old, and most of the comfort foods I grew up on were definitely not vegan. Let's see, there was chicken nuggets, there were cheeseburgers, there was my mom's baked macaroni and cheese, and so forth. And while I became vegetarian for ethical reasons, for the animals, vegan meats and cheeses did help me make the transition much easier. I, I I don't rely on these as a major food group anymore since I've learned more about cooking, but as a busy college student holding out a part-time job and commuting back and forth, having them was crucial in helping me to go vegan. And similarly, products like Gardein, Beyond Meat, Dea, Boca, and Follow Your Heart make the transition easier for to ve veganism for a lot of people who grew up on the standard American diet. But truthfully, th these products do lean on the pricier side, as <clears throat> as a vegan registered dietitian, Gina Messina, writes, When we talk up to people about how easy it is to go vegan, how much fun it is, we, we aren't usually talking about soaking pinto beans. Because from the perspective of the average omnivore, beans and rice are a poor substitute for steak. And, while some of us, think, of us may think it's no big deal to soak beans and... We may enjoy cooking everything from scratch. It's good to remember that convenience is a driving force behind most people's food choices. Mm. Well, it's true that there are some ways that fake meats are getting cheaper. Markets like Trader Joe's and Wegmans sell their own brands of vegan meats at a slightly cheaper price than the brand names. Uh, like these. I finished off the bag today. These Don't Be Chicken um, meatless chicken, nu chicken style nuggets from um, Wegmans. Those are really good. Um, they, um, they're still luxury items of sorts, because they can't be found everywhere. We just got a Wegmans, like, three years ago, in our area. And also, there's the persistence of some, though certainly not all, vegans praising organic foods, especially organic produce, as inherently healthier. Aside from the fact that this is not true, organic is outside of the budget for most people. I mean, I certainly can't afford it. The way buying organic is glorified while buying conventional food or food that might be or contain products of genetic modification is demonized is alienating toward people who don't have the luxury of being that choosy about the foods they eat. And this isn't even mentioning how some state governments in the United States have been introducing legislature prevent prohibiting people from buying certain food items with food stamps, which... Yeah, since the economy is really bad, a lot of people rely on food stamps to feed their families. Such legislation has been introduced in New York State and Wisconsin. New York residents can't use food stamps anymore to, pr to purchase shellfish, like crab, lobster, etc. And Wisconsin residents can no longer use food stamps to purchase the following. I actually discovered that this is quite a long list, but here are some of the things. Salad bar items, herbs and seasonings, nuts and fruit nut, nut mixes, frozen peas, canned canned peas and canned snap beans, canned soups, dried beans, baked beans, or other beans with added flavors. So that can be like black beans with added chilies or refried be beans with have a little out of added fat or added like spice. Certain brands of bread, white rice, taco shells, all the grain nut milks except for um so pretty much all the vegan milks, except for 8th Continent soy milk for some reason. The list goes on. I'm, I'm going to leave a link below. 
Okay, these are two examples, and maybe New York isn't the best example because its food stamps apply to shellfish, which aren't vegan anyway. But these motions could set a precedent for things to come in other states. As I've said, I don't make much money. In fact, um, every year I do my own taxes on TurboTax, and I, and I found out that if my parents weren't helping me, I would qualify for food stamps. Um, but I still often find myself relying on convenience. So... Let me give you the scenario. I'm actually living on, so let's say I'm living on my own. Still not making much money. Say I'm living in Wisconsin or another state that has just passed similar legislation. Could I still be vegan if I had to rely on food stamps and couldn't buy, like, some of the staples I use, like, like the taco shells or the white rice, or like, if I couldn't find 8th continent soy milk, which I've never actually bought before. Could I still be vegan? Maybe, but it wouldn't be easy, and it would definitely be much harder than it is living here in a D.C. area suburb, one of the wealthiest counties in America. Uh, Maryland currently doesn't have any such laws on the books. Although I did find out you can't use your food stamps to buy pet food, which is kind of messed up. But anyway. So no, being vegan is not inherently expensive, but that's not the end of the argument, and we as vegans need to acknowledge that should be a part of us having empathy for our fellow humans. So, signing out, and as always, peace and love.